Freezers are terrific. My wife and I love the, using this freezer because it allows us to be seasonal with food, which is how food generally tends to be, but then you get to keep it for long-term storage and then consume it as it comes up. But also for the fact that some things become available, maybe not seasonally, but you know, let's say you found a wonderful meat market or a friend who's a hunter gives you lots of food, but all at once, this is where it would go. However, the one big problem is the fact that organizing these things is no simple task. The problem then becomes is, how do I make sure that I'm just not piling shit into the freezer to never find it again? And I think that's what typically happens with freezers. So my wife and I came up with this uh, kind of a system, and it's not perfect, but I do think it pushes the envelope on freezer storage technology. Let me show you what I got. So rather than piling everything up, the way we've organized it is as follows. Aside from a couple of, you know, just random items here, you see that we have these freezer bags. They have labels on them. So fruit and desserts. And what these are, are freezer bags with zippers. And I mean, of course, this is going to have exactly what it says it has inside the bag. So for instance, uh, here is... Here is an apple tart that we made out of the shit ton of apples that we went to go when we went to go apple picking. Of course, we have a ton of apples. Meat, sausages. Relatively easy to access. The reason I say it's not exactly perfect is because it seems that the glue for these labels becomes quite weak under cold temperatures. So still looking for a better solution here, perhaps some kind of mechanical, like stitching type label. But aside from that, there you go. You can find pretty much everything that there is in here and you won't have to like really dig through the freezer. You can actually find things. And then as for soups, there happens to be this shelf here. We label everything we got within reason. So if you have curry, you label it and date it. Preferably with a year as well, but <laughs> hopefully you're not keeping things in the freezer for years at a time. There is one last thing that is very important to this whole system, and that is the Google Sheets that we have made for the freezer. Now the Google Sheets, correspondingly has a section for each one of these bags. So where you see fruit and desserts, there is actually a tab inside the Google Sheets that tells you about the contents of the bag so that you know. You can check at a glance without having to rummage through the freezer and it will tell you what you have. Of course, the imperfection here is that you have to be, that you have to be then fairly meticulous about keeping up with the actual Google Sheets and updating it as you pull things out of both out of the freezer and as you put things into the freezer. But I have found it is a wonderful thing to do because I know what I have in my freezer. Because of that, when I'm hungry and I don't feel like cooking, I know, okay, well, here's my prep uh, prepared food section. I know what I'm gonna pull out and I'm gonna decrement one when I do pull it out. Likewise, when I, need ingredients, I know what I have. I go to like my meat section, I go to my veg vegetable section. It lays it all out there and it makes working with recipes really quite simple. And so in effect, this solves two very important problems. One is I can actually access the food without it ever getting lost. That's the last thing you want to do. This is how we had it when we first got this freezer and until we try to figure out the system is there will be like that errant pack of sausages <laughs> that's at the bottom of the freezer and it'll be there for like a year before I actually find it again. So it solves that problem, number one. And number two, rather than having to rummage, I just checked the Google Sheets and I made a shortcut on it on my phone. I can access it from there. I can access it from my computer. At some point or another, I actually had a QR code that you can generate it from Google Sheets. 
you can print it out and when you point your camera at it, it'll lead you to that link. But I found that I prefer using the shortcut instead of pulling out my camera phone every time just to look at it. And besides, the place I'm accessing it, it is not here, it is rather upstairs in the kitchen. So having it on the phone, especially as you are doing some grocery shopping, that is the key. That's our method. I think it's a kick-ass method. Perhaps some room for improvement, particularly with the labels, but good shit. Thanks for watching. See you next time.